The tariff level at 10 percent is something that we had expected. We had heard uh, media reports that it would not be the initially thought 25 percent. And yet, what would 10 percent tariffs on $200 billion of Chinese goods mean, not only for the U.S. economy, but also for China? Yeah, yeah it'd be a, a significant blow, I think, more to China than, than the U.S. Um, the, the pain can be relatively evenly distributed here throughout, you know, throughout the markets here in the United States. But I think China is now facing some pretty significant economic headwinds. Um, so to have a, a blow like this um, will, and as you were just saying um, in the lead into this, um, where, where does China, where do China's goods go after this? So I think there's a, a great moment of uncertainty here for China, and probably the most aggravating thing for for Xi Jinping and China's leaders are they're not sure they're even reading from the same script as the Trump administration here. So mm -hmm. finding a, a path out of this is is looking in, increasingly difficult. U.S. senior administration officials saying that the six a month lag between the 10 percent tariffs and rising it, raising it to 25 percent on January 1st is to give U.S. businesses some time to adjust until then. How difficult will it be for U.S. businesses to adjust supply chain systems that have been in place for years? Yeah, the, the, I think uh, the possibility of a, of a fundamental restructuring of global supply chains in, in six months is, is unrealistic. Um, and also remember that a lot of purchase contracts are already baked in right now. So in terms of when the cost will really be felt here for U.S. consumers, we're, we're a ways out from that. Um, but I think if we're, we're staring down a uh, unfeasible resolution of the trade talks, I would throw out the six-month window here and just it's important for folks to remember that from the Trump administration's perspective, the trade talks aren't meant to succeed ever. Um, what they're looking for is that more fundamental rewriting of, of supply chains, and, and their uh, timeline for that is, is longer than, than the six months. Jude, President Trump had uh, tweeted earlier that these tariffs would bolster the U.S. bargaining position. This tweet that he released earlier saying that tariffs have put the U.S. in a very strong bargaining position, billions of dollars in jobs flowing into our country, and yet cost increases have thus far been almost unnoticeable. If countries will not make fair deals with us, they will be Tariff. Is this the right assessment of the U.S. economy when it comes to prices rising, also to the advantage that the U.S. has over China when it comes to this trade war? Uh, in short, no. Um, and I, I don't think anyone, you know, reading Trump's tweets will be expecting a, a Nobel Prize here uh, anytime soon. Um, but remember, this for Trump is about positioning and signaling. So w w that tweet is essentially aimed at Xi Jinping, and it's saying, we're not backing down from this strategy. We see this as ultimately successful. We see softness in the Chinese economy. Um, so we have uh, a much more leverage headroom than you do. Um, and so it's, uh, if you're thinking a tit-for-tat strategy is going to work with us, it, it won't. Um, so I suspect that's as much a, a political positioning as it is a statement of, of economic wisdom.